New Jersey shaping up as a battleground state in the midterm elections, and national Democrats hoping to take control of Congress deployed the party's power hitter, former Vice President Joe Biden, who expended political capital campaigning for Mikey Sherrill in a congressional district held for decades by Republicans. Pol Chief political correspondent Michael Aaron was there. Michael? Mary Alice, the 11th Congressional District is one the Democrats think they can flip. Their candidate, Mikey Sherrill, has gotten a lot of attention this year. Her opponent is Republican Assemblyman Jay Weber, running to replace incumbent Republican Rodney Freelingheisen, who's retiring. Today, Sherrill had former Vice President Joe Biden in at a rally here at Montclair State. Biden spoke at length about American values and lambasted Republicans for wanting to cut Medicare, he said, by $650 billion. These guys keep the Congress, and he stays in office. Do you realize that 70% of all the people in the nursing home are women? And the only reason most of those women are there, they live middle-class lives, they were not poor. They had to sell everything they had when their family died, when their husband died, to be able to stay in there. And the only thing that keeps them there is Medicare. What happens? When you cut that, what happens to all those people? What happens to their lives? What happens when insurance runs out? And you sit there and watch, like I and others have your son die of cancer, only not being in a position to be able to keep them there. What are we doing? Why? What is the justification? It not only doesn't make America healthier, it doesn't make it wealthier either but it lets one-tenth of one percent become wealthier. What has become of us? And my Republican colleagues, they know better. But they're silent. They're afraid. I said I got there when I was 29 years old as a senator. I was there with Watergate. You know who brought down Nixon? Barry Goldwater went to the White House and said, enough. Bill Cohen, a Republican from Maine. Howard Baker, one of my close friends. The Republicans. They stood up. And they said, enough is enough is enough. This is not who we are as a country. Cheryl, a former Navy pilot and federal prosecutor, talked about the stakes in this year's election. We have a duty as citizens of our democracy to fight for what we know is true, to fight for what we know our country stands for. Because, as the Vice President reminded us this weekend, while John McCain was a great hero, this country actually wasn't built by heroes. This country was built by ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Governor Murphy was here as well and revved up the crowd. Now more than ever, with a president who holds our values in contempt, and a Congress too scared to push back, we need leaders with steel in their spines to lead us forward. We need leaders who put people before party and values before politics. We need leaders who will roll up their sleeves and get to work, who won't take that, it isn't my job, or that's just fine the way it is for an answer. We need leaders who talk with us one-on-one -on -one and don't tweet at us. Mikey Sherrill's opponent, Jay Weber, had the current vice president, Mike Pence, in for a fundraiser a few weeks ago. That visit was closed to the press. The Weber campaign put out a statement today saying now we see that Mikey Sherrill is beholden to Democrat bosses like Joe Biden and called her the candidate of elites. From here, Sherrill and Joe Biden went to their own fundraiser at a private residence in Montclair. At Montclair State University, I'm Michael Aaron. Mary Alice, back to you.